teacher Karen here. Have you seen squirrels scampering about chasing each other up trees when you've been out at a park or out in the woods hiking? Well, this next book I'm going to share will have you looking at that a whole different way. So grab up your kiddos, get yourselves comfy and cozy, and we'll read. The book is called the Squirrels Who Squabbled by Rachel Bright, illustrated by Jim Field. In a towering forest where summer had been, the leaves turned to gold as a cold wind blew in. And as autumn arrived with the sky raging red, the sleepiest creatures got ready for bed. While up in a tree swung a flighty young squirrel, who everyone knew as Spontaneous Cyril. Now most foresty folk had seen to their needs through the plentiful months of mushroom and seeds. They'd built up their store so they'd all be well fed through the frosting of winter that glittered ahead. But Cyril, he lived in the now and the here. He'd adventured and partied his way through the year. So his cupboard was empty, his hollow was bare. He hadn't a mouthful of food anywhere. Oh boy. But wait, what was that? Over there, take a look. A single lone pine cone wedged in a nook. He squealed with delight, and for a very good reason, for inside were the very last nuts of the season. So maybe all's not lost after all. But Cyril wasn't alone. There were more hungry eyes. Yes, plan ahead Bruce had his sights on the prize. Though he'd gather fresh treasures of every sort, Bruce was convinced he was one pine cone short. I simply must have it, he wistfully cried as he dreamt of the fresh juicy pine nuts inside. So Bruce had already stored up all these, but he needed one more. So Cyril set off on his way to the ground. Bruce, he was also last pine cone bound. They sprinted and scurried with no time to gamble. They scratched at the bark in their scampering scramble. Bum, ba -dum, boom. But their panic and haste shook the tips of the spruce and the pine cone it trembled, and then it came loose. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. Both squirrels gave chase at a lightning pace. This was the start of a wild, nutty race. It's mine, shouted Cyril. No, mine, hollered Bruce. You don't stand a chance. Give up. It's no use. I'm hungry, cried Cyril. This cone is not yours. Stay back, shouted Bruce. This cone's for my stores. It boinged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged on the nose of a slumbering bear. It bounced over boulders, then came to a stop, then teetered and wobbled and quivered and, oh no, what do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. Plop! Oh, shoot. Both squirrels followed. Oh, the water was fast. Would they learn that they needed each other at last? But each was intent on how he could win, so they didn't quite notice a bird swooping in. Cyril and Bruce, they watched in dismay as their cone disappeared up, 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 and away. Come back! shouted.
shouted Cyril. There are nuts, exclaimed Bruce. But all hope was gone. It was simply no use. And meanwhile, they drifted right up to the ledge. Greed, it was driving them over the edge. Ah! Cyril and Bruce, they had taken a fall. They were paying the price for wanting it all. They'd squandered their chances to team up and share with their nutty young hopes simply end in despair. So they fell over the waterfall. Yikes. Let's see what happens. Bruised and bedraggled, they swept past dry land. Cyril grabbed at a branch with a trembling hand. Catching Bruce with the other, he heaved and he huffed and pulled him to safety with panting and puffs. They dragged themselves up with sputtering wriggles. Then Bruce looked at Cyril and exploded in giggles. How silly we are, he managed to mutter. How greedy I've been, he proclaimed with a splutter. We shall change from today. May the squabbling cease. We should celebrate, seeing we're both in one piece. That's for sure, huh? Going over the waterfall. From that day and forward, they made a great plan. Excuse me, they made a great pair. They would gather together and found that they could share. Yes, Cyril and Bruce, they knew in the end the best thing to share is a laugh with your friend. The end. The squirrels who squabbled.